going on youtubers uh so i've been a little absent from making videos in this crazy pandemic time um so today i'm just kind of messing around with uh with a couple of things mostly testing some set uh some settings and things like that talk through a couple of things um just kind of give folks uh an update on you know what i've been up to i know we all have kind of been you know, isolated in our in our own <laughs> Uh, real worlds, but um, maybe you, some of you might find some of this stuff interesting. But and I'm also messing around with uh, it's a program called OBS, it's essentially um, a uh, t -t -t like a, a, a video studio, right? So it's so where I can do I can inlay um, the picture in picture video, um, and then I can have this as my, my iPhone is exported to um, to my Mac, and then uh, I have a microphone to give a little bit better audio than than the iPhone gives off, or than uh, extra that's internal to my to my webcam. Um, I can't zoom the webcam; that's kind of frustrating me. But um, so I think, like most of you guys, have uh, kids are homeschooled. I have three kids, and and two of them are school age. Uh, so my wife has been struggling through that, and then working from home. I typically work from home. Um, since I retired from the Marine Corps, but uh, now it's a little bit different because I'm not doing a lot of traveling that we typically do, and some projects that were, were kind of put to the wayside have uh, have been picked up, um, and we've and caught a little bit of momentum, right? So uh, since let's see, I had let me try this. I'm gonna to kind of like a screen share thing. Um, that's not what I wanted to show you, but I just want to go to my Instagram because I share a lot of stuff on Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, um, and then YouTube are kind of, kind of my three social mediums. But, uh, on what's interesting about, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, go take a look, uh, Dave, as you can see the address on there, Dave's underscore cards. Um, click off of this. Hopefully that red line wasn't on there, but maybe it was so first thing i'm going to show is sgc submissions um so i did and yeah, let me pause it okay so I, I submitted this this is my first sgc submission pretty cool i'm very excited uh, it was a completely different process rather than sending them off to uh kyle at kk sports cards for a psa sub he would clean them you know he would do all the prep work it's just like literally i just mail the cards and then all good right um, he turns them into magic and tens. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Uh, but in this case, I had to pay that extra level of detail of making sure that the cards were wiped down, specifically like Chrome stuff. Um, so these are the cards I submitted. I submitted a, uh, a reholder for, I think it was a PSA 4, uh, this, the Mickey Mantle All-Star. Uh, another Mantle for a reholder. Um, the uh, Allen and Ginter mini framed auto for Tatis. I think that's probably going to come back. A little, some surf, a little, little bit of surface surface scratches. It might come back like a nine, um, but it'll look good in the tuxedo. So that's the point. And then a couple other tux or uh, tuxedo candidates. The the middle row there. Um, these guys right here are pretty cool. Uh, they're all going to look great in a tuxedo. Uh, from Stove Sports, uh, from Mark, I got, he actually sent me this in a care package, this 83 Tops Queen. Um, it's pretty nicely centered. It did have like little, little surface dimples and stuff. Um, I'm hoping it comes in somewhere around the eight range. So we'll see what's up with that. Um, there's no reason why this heritage wouldn't get a 10. If you watch one of my PSA reveals, I got an eight pack because it had like a fingernail line indent right through the card. So... Um, that is not the case on this one, and this one should be should be solid. Uh, and then there's no reason why this one wouldn't get a ten. It's in uh, it's in really good shape, and that's why I chose it uh, out of the ones that I had. I had like twenty um, to choose from. I'm way down now because I sold quite a few. I sold about sixteen ish of uh, of these. Um, okay, so that was my first sub. I'm about seven days into that one, and this was oh, darn it. You know what? I guess I didn't get it on there. Um, hmm, let's see if I have it. If it's on. All right, so I'm going to have to post a picture of my second sub. 
All right, so let's go to uh, PSA. So serve previous PSAs. So this is still out at PSA, right? This stuff here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, these came back. Came back, came back, came back. Uh, this one's still at PSA with the exception of the trout. It came back in nine. Um, but looking forward to all this stuff coming back. Maybe some folks are, folks are saying that they have a skeleton crew going in there um, and working on some stuff. So hopefully, hopefully that stuff comes back uh, or, you know, whenever, whenever they're able to get fully back to work. Uh, and then this submission is um, there as well. See lots of stuff in there. Working on the rainbow for uh, the Chris Paddock rookie card out of 2019 Tops update. Um, I, I need, I got a beat on a blue. A, a local guy here in Temecula, California is gonna gonna trade for the blue. Um, uh, so I definitely need pink. Um, I have a black, I have an Independence Day, I have the clear right here submitted to PSA. <laughs> Mm, trying to think of whichever one I needed, uh, but definitely plenty more Tatis uh, in this order. Um, gold refractor, that one's probably going to come back a PSA nine. I had to had a surface scratch. Uh, t -t -t the vintage stock will definitely be a nine. It has that same corner that all of my um, all my Tatis have, man. All of them. <laughs> that corner right there, you know, it's, it's a beast. Gold wave should get a 10. This blue wave, it's got some rough centering. Uh, probably come back at 9 for CJ Abrams. Um, but all this other stuff looks looks pretty good. I think the clear is going to come back at 9 too. Those are really tough. With, if, if you've ever um, seen any of those acetate cards, or the surface issues that they have on them are freaking... Uh, they're pretty tough. Let me see if I can, if I can adjust. I'm just playing around with this stuff. So if it gets crazy, um, make that a little bit bigger. I try to, I, I can't use any tools for the, for my, the webcam to do like a zoom feature. I think I said that, but anyways, uh, we'll see what that looks like. I'm interested to see if in the, in the post production process or whatever editing process, if these, if the blue lines and stuff come up around the different pictures. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. All this other stuff is still at PSA too. I'm actually thinking of submitting some more stuff to Kyle. Um, while we wait, I mean, he's still collecting stuff, uh, at a rate of $9 per card for, for 45 day subs. I want to say 18 or 19, um, for, uh, 20 day submissions. So he's still taking stuff on and that's kind of, <clears throat> I just hope PSA, I hope PSA is doing some stuff that some folks are there. There's, uh, there's evidence that, you know, they're getting their cards pop, uh, they're popping on the population report. Right, and um, and I've even seen some folks get some stuff shipped back. So they haven't been real clear. There hasn't been like an announcement on what it is they're doing in terms of, you know, hey, we have X number of people working a skeleton crew, and this is our intent. They haven't been really very open to us collectors. So I, th I think that's that's kind of a bummer. Um, I definitely feel like the the tide is shifting to SGC as uh, they're just, I mean, they're definitely transparent. Um, and if you watch guys like Aliko three, and he's um, you know been getting a lot of stuff back, and I, th I think you know they're grabbing more of the market share. And I, I just hope that um, uh, comps comps pick up. That's the one hurdle right between all of them. Because uh, I'll show you this, I did pick up a um, I did pick up a, a, a pristine. Uh, and I, I mean, I love this card, man. The tuxedo looks great. Uh, the shine, right? And then the, the label, okay? And if you haven't seen an SGC card, like held an SGC card, I should say, um, the label, you, you kind of could knock it because they're like, oh, back here looks really, really plain, right? Right? Um, so in a PSA, they have that the watermark, right? It looks kind of more like a fingerprint, which is, which is kind of cool, but... Um, the SGC label is actually pretty cool. I like that it's a 10 because we, or that it's big like that. And I'm getting more and more used to it, right? That's a bad example because that's not a numbered grade, right? But, um, 
Let me put that back. So if you have them like back like this, what are we all looking at? What are we all looking at? Like, if, if I'm showing you a, a PSA card, you guys want to know that this is an eight, right? You do. You do. Don't say you don't. Don't say, oh, the card. It's all about the card. Dude, you want to know what number grade this black Tatis rookie is. You absolutely do. And if you say you don't, you're kidding yourself, man. If I were to be like this, you'd be like, dude, what grade is that? Like, you would ask that question. If I only sent you a picture of this card, you knew it was a PSA graded card, and I know um, those back pages has done it before Reese taped them off, but my point is, you know, you're back here like this, you want to know that grade on the right, I don't know, what is it? It might be an eight, it might be a nine. Obviously, you, you know, you can read near mint to mint is a smaller font than mint, right? So you can pick it out that way. But my point, this is, this is, dude, this is 10. It's a 10, you can see it from afar. You know that this is a 10. Um, it's just big and it's bold. Some people think it's too bold, um, but I think it's awesome. And like I was going back to, going back to like the watermark, um, or the background of the actual label itself. It's actually really cool, man. And they, I think, I think they don't need a hologram. Uh, I think there was some, you know, lots of talk about they should put a hologram in the center. I think it looks awesome. Um, it's a very nice case. And this obviously is a gold, la gold label, uh, pristine, but so this is a perfect one to, to show you an, an example of, but I, I've looked at this card, man. This this card is flawless. It's it's a great card. Um, it it deserved a a uh, a gold label. Um, so I picked this up on it's a oh, I'm sorry it's a web website. Al it's an alternate to eBay. It's mm -hmm. called Mercari. M E R C Mercari, M-E-R-C-A-R-I, I think. Um, but I've gotten a couple things from there recently and, and at a decent price. I picked that up for 75. Um, I probably could get a, a PSA 10 for about about 75. Um, so uh, I thought it was a good price. But anyways, that's what I've been up to. Got two SGC orders in. Sorry, my chair keeps hitting the desk. Um, two SGC orders in. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, check out my Instagram. Um, let's see, because I don't know my Twitter name straight up. I thought I had it on my, uh, my toolbar here. Whatever. Um, yeah, go check out, check out my Instagram. A little preview of it. I know uh, B. Roth um, hit one of these Owen Miller base autos in the rookie his rookie card explosion box. If you haven't seen my rookie card explosion box, man, you don't need to go and check it out. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, it is definitely the worst uh, one I've got, but um, can't always can't the luck can't always be on your side. Oh, look at that! Share shared uh, SGC is last, and they're they're really witty and cool and, and cool on on social media too. Um, you know, they, they take they take stabs, uh, not necessarily at the well. Sometimes they they do direct stabs at, at at other grading companies, but I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. If uh, if you if you've ever followed any of like the Wendy's versus McDonald's like social media stuff. Um, <laughs> That stuff gets pretty funny. They they, they make some pretty uh, wild accusations and some pretty pretty bold pokes. Um, mostly, I think Wendy's is pretty witty uh, on social media. So, hi, Maddie. <laughs> Come say hi. Hi. Say hi. See the cameras right there. Hi. <laughs> My name Maddie. Oh, oh. Her name's Madison. Yes, it is. Um. So, I hope everyone is staying safe. Uh, wash your dang hands. Don't go nowhere. Here in California, we gotta wear a mask. And well, I think specific to my county, Riverside County is where I live. Um, 
<laughs> we gotta wear a mask everywhere we go and stuff, so. I didn't uh, ask, no, I didn't get a mask. You didn't get a mask. Yeah, we haven't been having the kids go out, so it's cool. But I need to I think mask. we're gonna like take a drive around and take some take a look at some stuff, but been watching oh everybody's YouTube videos, definitely trying to catch up on all the rookie card explosion boxes that have been happening in the last couple days. Um I'll look forward to doing some more commenting and watching the folks videos. Um, I just watched Silver Jackify's Rookie Card Explosion Box and I feel a little bit better about mine. Three checklists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three checklists in one pack. Yeah. <laughs> that was brutal. Brutal. Um, but eh, it's all good. He did get a relic and an auto though, so he got me even though they were like a dollar each. <laughs> Probably worth like a buck each. Mm -hmm. that. Oh, uh, you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> That's a pretty, it's a pretty simple bye. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. All right, so I hope everybody's staying safe. Be cool. Don't go gathering in large groups and yeah. helping this dang thing spread all, uh, or continuing to spread. Yeah. Just, just uh, give, give it some time. All right, folks.